Are you ready for this? Of course you are. Come on, don't be shy. Don't let a fancy suit impress you. Don't let a thousand fancy suits impress you. Be the thorn in history's side. Choose the greatest enemies. The captain. Sorry, mate. The emperor. The boss's boss. And make even greater friends. Decent work, Leonardo. Don't just pick a fight. Start a revolution. Get the bigger picture. Go too far. Go too fast! Face the invisible. The impossible. The unspeakable. Welcome to the greatest playground. History. Hello, everybody, and welcome along to the first ever Assassin's Creed Showcase. It is time to leap into history. I'm Danny Wallace, here in our top secret hideout, where I'll be bringing you some sneak peeks, special guests, and sharing some very exciting updates on all things Assassin's Creed. You will not want to miss this. Today, I am joined by a true expert, Assassin's Creed's senior community developer, Ubisoft's own Alice Terrett. Welcome to the show. Alice, can you believe it's been 15 years? Thank you so much, Danny. I cannot believe it's been 15 no. years. It's a series very close to my heart because uh, I'm in it. I'm lucky enough to voice Sean Hastings, who first appeared back in Assassin's Creed 2. Now, Sean sounds exactly like me, which may give you a clue as to the limits of my acting range. This year, we are celebrating 15 years since the release of the first Assassin's Creed. It's been an amazing journey with our community that started back on the rooftops of the Holy Land. It has taken us to the Italian Renaissance, into the center of revolutionary wars, to ancient worlds, and to many incredible places in between. We've met unforgettable characters and been to breathtaking locations, allowing you to leap into history and relive pivotal moments from our past. It's been a phenomenal 15 years, and we are so glad that you came along for the ride. For the 15-year anniversary of Assassin's Creed, we want to truly celebrate with you, our community. We know that you've been dying to find out what's next for Assassin's Creed, and so... Uh, uh, just on that point, it does sound a lot like you're about to announce a new game or something. And I am about to announce a new game. I just thought it'd be nice seeing as I'm here. I can... So anyways, uh, it's time to discover what we've been crafting in the shadows. I hope you brought a trailer at least. I have. Roll the trailer. Basim, Abneus Hawk. Are you ready to give up who you once thought you were? I am. Ready to sacrifice everything you held close? I am. to leave your life behind and walk the path of shadows? I am. the dark, you will come into the light.
Never forget the tenets you have sworn to uphold. Stay your blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Brotherhood. Stay forward. You are a hidden one. Well, will you look at that? Assassin's Creed Mirage, everybody. And here to tell us more, it is Ubisoft Bordeaux's narrative director, Sarah Beaulieu. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. Sarah, we just had a little glimpse of Mirage. What can you tell us about this latest and very special Assassin's Creed adventure? Well, indeed, it is special. We go back to the roots of the series. It's been 15 years, as you know, and we wanted to go back to the action-adventure game that you know, narrative-driven game, uh, we've been focusing on stealth, parkour, and of course, assassinations. Now, I've been playing a lot of Valhalla recently, and from watching that trailer, I couldn't help but notice Basim. Yes, you're right, it's Basim. It's 20 years before Valhalla, so it's a young Basim that is going to be coming from a street thief to a master assassin. Oh, fantastic. And, and so where does his kind of adventure begin? Well, it begins in Baghdad. Uh, it's the beautiful, magnificent, vibrant city of Baghdad that you're going to roam through the game. And it's, um, yeah, it's a very dense city where you're going to meet a lot of different people. That's amazing. I know our community is going to be very excited to explore Baghdad. Um, so Sarah, what can you tell us that makes Mirage special to you specifically? Well, to me, obviously, it's all about the story. So as you saw, we have a couple of charismatic characters. Starting from Basim, so Basim is our lead character. We do have Russian that you spotted in the trailer. Uh, she's Basim's mentor. We also have a lot of historical characters, like in every Assassin's Creed, so political leaders, for example, but not, not just. Uh, we do have a couple of very, very interesting characters in there. Well, what a setting and, and what history to get your teeth into, but we're obviously about exclusives here. Have you got any more? Yes, I do. Good. Uh, did you recognize the voice from the trailer? I did, actually. Yes. Can I, can I, can I reveal it? Can I reveal it? Yeah, if you know. It was the Emmy-winning actress, wasn't it? Shori Agdashlu. It was. It was. Yeah, you got it right. Good. Yeah, we're thrilled to have her in the cast. She's going to be portraying Russian. So she's going to be the voice of Basim's mentor. That you saw in the trailer, actually. And the whole team is very, very glad to have her on the She's fantastic. Yeah, Such she a recognisable voice, which is why I recognised it, of course. Well, and we were lucky enough to catch up with Shori earlier, and she had this very special message. Hello, everyone. I am Shori Agdashlu, and I'm thrilled to announce that I will be voicing Roshan, Basim's mentor in Assassin's Creed Mirage. When Ubisoft approached me to voice this character, I was immediately seduced by Roshan's strong personality and her backstory. She's a true warrior who fights for justice and protects her fellow hidden ones at all costs. She is loyal and honest, but keep her former self behind a shroud of mystery. And of course, the fact that she is a mature woman from Persian origins made her resonate even more with my own story and background. Playing such a character is a unique opportunity that I could not miss. I hope you will love her as much as I do. It's a real pleasure for me to collaborate with the Assassin's Creed brand and play one of the main characters in such an anticipated new game. I am wishing you all a happy 
AC 15th anniversary. Thank you all. Yours sincerely, Sohre Agdoslu. What a nice message. What a recognisable voice as well, just instantly. And she seems thrilled to be part of this. Yeah, I think she is, really. That's good. A welcome addition to the Assassin's Creed world. So, finally, obviously the question everyone wants to know, when can we get our hands on Mirage? Assassin's Creed Mirage is going to be available in 2023. And if you pre-order now, you also get the exclusive 40 Thieves side quest. But it's not all. We also have a collector's case available for pre-order as well. It includes a figurine of Basim and other exclusive surprises that you will love. Thank you, Sarah, for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much. Yes, it looks fantastic. Right. We'll be dropping more exclusive news from the world of Assassin's Creed very shortly. But first, we wanted to celebrate the last 15 years of Assassin's Creed with you. Let's remind ourselves of some of the highlights and, of course, the impact of this groundbreaking series. Out of the dark, you come into the light. From the light, you will return to the dark. Are you prepared to travel the Eagle's path? Welcome aboard. It's prizes, plunder and adventure ahead. We are all different, but our creed will unify us. Do you regret your decision to leave as an assassin for so long? I do not remember making that decision. This life, it chose me. What is a man but the sum of his memories? We are the stories we live, the tales we tell ourselves. Gentlemen, as is custom among our kind, we do not plunge headlong into folly on the orders of a single madman, but act according to our own collective madness. From darkness we have come, and in darkness we shall stay. We are the Hidden Ones. It is a good life we need, brother. The best. They never change. Well, so many memories there. Makes me want to jump back in and just play through the whole series again. Well, Danny, to continue the celebrations, we also have a new documentary out today, which gives a behind-the-scenes look at the last 15 years of Assassin's Creed. Let's take a sneak peek. For me, Assassin's Creed represents my whole uh, uh, video game in the career. It's really like where I learned my job, uh, where I grew uh, in, uh, in my job. So it was really the game that showed to me, hey, you gotta step it up, but like you gotta move on from the PS2. And I fell in love ever since. For me, in the universe of jeux video, Assassin's Creed remains une licence extrêmement importante. Assassin's Creed, especially in those early days, was showing people what could be done in this kind of broad open space. Just like climbing up things and just looking at this world and being like, oh wow, I've never done this in a video game before. We're always looking for the next Assassin's Creed, no matter which one is your favourite. You'll always be tied to it because of just how connected they've kept you in from the beginning. It's not just a game, it has a, a philosophy behind it. It's a universe. It's not just a single setting in a single time, but it's different settings at different times. It's like a narrative universe that uh, comes to life. Looks 
worth a watch to me. Where can we see it? Is it somewhere on the internet? Yes, it will be on the internet. Uh, you can catch it on the Ubisoft and GTV YouTube channels, but don't go anywhere just yet. No. So back to business, and I've just finished the Dawn of Ragnarok expansion for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I had a great time, but I would like some more. Yeah, that's one of our most ambitious expansions to date. But Danny, if you want more, I've got great news, as we have more content coming to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Hello, everyone. I'm Gareth Glover, game director on Assassin's Creed Valhalla's post-launch. Since launch, we've continued to create new and exciting content for our community to enjoy. We've already released new game modes and activities into the world of Valhalla, such as River Raids, Tombs of the Fallen, Mastery Challenges, and more recently, the Rogue Light Forgotten Saga. Today, I'm excited to announce that in a few months' time, we will also be launching the last chapter. So let's take an exclusive first look. Odin, I feel you close. An uproar of memories stretching far into the past. I have done all I can for my people. It is time to say goodbye set forth for distant shores and new adventures. Fascinating. Eivor grapples with Odin's memories in a way unfamiliar to me. Where will this new conflict take you, I wonder? The last chapter is a free quest arc, which nicely ties up some of the storylines established throughout the game. We'll see Eivor reunite with some key characters, including some influential historical ones. We can't wait for you to experience it. Back to you, Danny and Alice. Danny, mm. are you ready for some more exclusives? No, no, I'm not. No, I'm, I'm a little overwhelmed already, but please go on. Okay, well, our next guest can do just that. He's no stranger to the Assassin's Creed family with a list of credits, including creative director of Assassin's Creed Syndicate and producer of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I'm, of course, talking about Mark Alexi Cote. Mac, thanks for joining us. Well, thank you, Alice. It's great to be here, and I, I love what you've done with the place. Thank you. Uh, so let's start with our community. Can you tell us what makes Assassin's Creed so beloved by our global community? Well, at Ubisoft, our mission as a company, as expressed by Eve, is to enrich the lives of players. On Assassin's Creed, we have a very clear take on that mission. We want history to be everybody's playground as we immerse players into the richness of our shared past. What makes AC different, though, is this kind of unique mix between historical accuracy and contemporary codes like the Animus. And when you put all that together, it gives you the chance to uh, embody iconic characters, to live powerful fantasies, all the while immersed in intriguing uh, historical settings. It's amazing. Uh, so how will Assassin's Creed evolve in the coming years? Well, we're going to double down on our passion for history as we explore the past with courage. Uh, we strongly believe that uh, history can be the most powerful and eye-opening source of entertainment. And our teams believe that history can help us better understand the world that we live in, as so many elements from the past still resonate with our present. But don't worry, we're gonna keep telling grand epic stories so that viewers and players alike can feel the vertigo that only human history can bring. I love the way you talk about history and about using history as a playground. What an incredible thing to be able to use history in this, in this way. But what does this mean for fans going forward? Well, we want our passion for history to fuel the expansion of the franchise into new territories. So I'm very happy to announce today our very first open world Assassin's Creed game for mobile. Uh, it will feature all the iconic Assassin's Creed gameplay, but optimized for an experience on touch controls. 
And I just can't wait to tell you more about the story and the setting. Let's take a look at the trailer. Well, look at that. A brand new Assassin's Creed game set in China. It looks amazing.、Uh, Matt, can you tell us a little bit more about the features? Well, for the first time in our open world games, you can create your own character. You'll get the chance to do things like parkour atop the Great Wall of China, sneak through bustling cities, engage in intense combat, and discover the secrets of vastness of ancient China. Well, that leads me to my next question. So, Mac, many of us know that a Netflix show is in development, and the community would like to know more. What else can you tell us? Well, it's still early in development, but I can confirm that we are co-developing the Netflix series with Ubisoft Film and Television, Netflix, obviously, and an insanely talented showrunner, Jeb Stewart. It's going to be an epic, jar-bending, a live-action adaptation of our video game series. But that's not the only thing we have in development with Netflix. We also have a new mobile game in development for their platform. Wow! So you're doing quite a lot with Netflix. And just out of interest, there's no reason for me to ask this. This is just this is just curious. A lot of people probably want to know who 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 is the casting director for that. Well, why do you want to know? No, I'm just、uh, just that a lot of people have been、uh, <laughs> tweeting in about that. Well, we'll put his name on screen. I'll talk to you after about that.、Uh, in the meantime, let's take a look at the wider world of Assassin's Creed. Well, the wider world of Assassin's Creed there, and look, we've had a lot of surprises today. I think that's fair to say. But in the grand tradition of surprises, Mac, I think you might have saved the biggest one for last. Well, Danny, that's right. Believe it or not, I've got more things to show to you. So, how about we take a leap of faith into the future together? Let's take a look. Well, I think that's what you call big news, isn't it? I mean, there's a lot of stuff in there that I think, from your point of view, certainly the community, the fans have been asking for for a long time. So, Mac, tell us more. Well, this is Codename Red, our next premium flagship title, and the future of our open-world RPG games on Assassin's Creed. It is being developed by Ubisoft Quebec, the studio behind Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Under the、uh, creative direction of Jonathan Dumont, it will let players explore one of their most awaited settings ever on the franchise, feudal Japan, and they'll live a very powerful shinobi fantasy. I mean, people have been waiting for this for a long time, haven't they? Yes, they have. Well, they certainly have, and now you brought it to them. 
It's amazing. Which is good. And you're slightly cruel in that you're teasing me with it. I very much want that. You mentioned um, some of the other studios. Uh, what's Montreal up to right now? Well, we have our veteran team behind Assassin's Creed Valhalla in Montreal, the birthplace of uh, Assassin's Creed, yeah. who's been hard at work on a new flagship title as well. It is being led by uh, creative director Clint Hawking and is a very different type of Assassin's Creed game. And I believe you may have brought us something that we can watch now. Yes, here it is. Well, the surprises just keep on coming. What can you tell us about this project? Well, this is codenamed Hexe, and I can't wait for our fans to tear apart that trailer and find out all its secrets. Yeah, absolutely, and work out the code name. You guys have always got code names for stuff. There was, um, was it a year ago, there was code name Infinity. Where are you with that? Well, that's a great question, Danny, and I'm happy to give you a little bit more about Project Infinity uh, today. Infinity is not a game per se. It's going to be the single entry point for our fans into the Assassin's Creed franchise into the future. So are you saying that players will be able to explore their very own animus, kind of like a time machine? Exactly, Alice. Infinity is going to be a hub that will unite all our different experiences and our players together in meaningful ways. So, obviously that begs the question if you're connecting players and there's more than one player, a lot of people will be thinking, are we talking multiplayer? Well, Danny, it seems we can't hide anything from you. You can't. So <laughs> we're actually investigating how uh, we will bring back standalone multiplayer experiences into the Assassin's Creed universe, all connected to the Infinity Hub. Well, it sounds extraordinary. You must have a nap at some point because you've all been very, very busy. So our thanks, Mac. Um, some major new developments there, and I'm sure everyone at home can't wait to get involved. Um, thank you for joining us today and sharing all this incredibly exciting news. Well, thank you, Danny. Thank you, Alice. It's been a pleasure to be here and to be finally able to share all these great things that we have coming for our fans. So to sum up, there are a lot of exciting things to look forward to. Let's remind ourselves of everything you can expect from now onwards. This year, we will see the release of the last chapter to Eivor's story in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Then in 2023, we'll see the release of the next big title, Assassin's Creed Mirage, set in Baghdad and following the story of Basim from Street Thief to Master Assassin. Then it's time for the long-awaited setting of Feudal Japan with Assassin's Creed codename Red. And as Mac announced, there will also be a very different type of experience with Assassin's Creed codename Hexe. And in the coming years, we'll see the launch of the new platform, Assassin's Creed Infinity, connecting players to the games in a whole new way. But that's not all. We'll also see the launch of our first open world game for mobile with Assassin's Creed codename Jade. And of course, the release of our live action series in partnership with Netflix. So, loads to come. But that, my friends, I'm afraid, is all we have time for today in this very special Assassin's Creed anniversary showcase. Now, before I get too comfortable in our hideout and end up slipping into my Ezio cosplay as normal, I just want to thank everyone for joining us today and making this first ever showcase so special. Plus, of course, a big thank you to our guests. And I shouldn't do this, Alice, but you know, in the spirit of wrapping up, what's the one thing you're most looking forward to? That's a very tricky question. We've seen so many amazing things. Um, I'm going to pick a few. Okay. I will choose Mirage, mm -hmm. um, the Netflix series, mm -hmm. and also Feudal Japan. Is that okay? That's fine. Great. And for all of you at home, remember that you can pre-order Mirage now. In the meantime, you can jump back into Valhalla to prepare for Eivor's last chapter. Which is exactly, Alice, what I'm going to do while we pass back to Ubisoft Forward. We will see you next time. Bye-bye. Goodbye.